check out this one click resolution changer much much simpler than going through the settings switching between 4k and 1080p for example and this will require you to download a very simple to use command line tool however i will use all the commands in the description so if you want to find out how to switch between any two resolutions by simply clicking one button stay tuned So the first step is to head over to a website called Softpedia and downloading a piece of software called QRes. So just open my browser of your choice and type in Softpedia QRes. It'll be the first link that pops up most likely. So go ahead and download this software for free. It shouldn't take more than about five seconds. And there it is. So once it's downloaded, head over to your downloads folder, right click the archive which we've just downloaded, and hit extract all. Now this option might be hidden on some builds of Windows 11, so you might have to click on more options. It should be the bottom um, option of the context menu, and then you'll see the option to extract all. So go ahead and extract everything. And now you'll have a normal folder, which you can then copy to a more secure location since oftentimes um, the download folder gets cleared on accident. So I would recommend uh, moving this to a better location, such as your program files. So go over to local disk C, uh, go over to program files times 86, and just paste this folder. And then you'll have this folder as a program alongside your other programs. So the next step is to test this out. And in order to do that, you first need to figure out what resolution you're running. You might already know it, or you might want to check it by heading over to your desktop, right clicking, clicking on display settings, and then seeing what resolution is currently being set. So in my case, it's 3840 times 2160 also known as 4K. So to test this out, I'm gonna switch the resolution to 1920 times 1080. Make sure that whatever resolution you choose, uh, make sure it's supported on your display by checking these settings first. So any one of these should work. So now you need to open the command line. Um, the simplest way to do this is to click on the path right here typing in cmd which will then open the command line in this exact location the next step is to enter this command right here um, obviously you're going to need to adjust the resolution so make sure that these numbers right here in my case 1920 times 1080 match one of the numbers in your display settings so fingers crossed let's see if this works And as you can see, the resolution has been adjusted to 1920 times 1080. The reason why there is a black box is simply because of the screen recording software. This will look um, the way it's supposed to on your actual computer, so don't worry about that. And if I want to revert this back to 4K, what I can do is type in 3840 times 2160. And as you can see, once I've actually adjusted this on my screen recording software, it has been reverted back to 3840 times 2160. So that's the most basic usage. I will show you how to automate this entire step. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right, if this video has helped you in any way so far or ends up solving your problem, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and leave a comment letting me know what you think. That way I can keep making these videos. Thank you so much in advance. Back to the regularly scheduled programming. So the next step is to automate this process by writing a batch script. So in order to do this, open any text editor of your choice. I'm just gonna use the built-in Windows editor. And make sure you type in the following commands. 
First command is cd, which stands for change directory. And you're going to want to navigate to the directory where your QRES executable file is located in. So if you follow the steps so far, that should be the same one as I have placed it in, which is uh, program files times 86 slash QRES. So make sure that location is set within these quotation marks. And then you can use the command, which I've shown you before, which is QRES.exe, followed by the resolution that you want to um, use. So in this case, it's 4K. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my desktop. And call it 4K. Now it's important that you don't just save this as a regular text file, but that you change uh, the option down here to all file extensions and type 4K.bat for which stands for batch script. So just do go ahead and do that. Now I like creating a pair of um, resolutions so that I can switch between the two and toggle the other resolution whenever I need it. Typically, in my case, I have it set to 4K, but sometimes I might want to switch over to 1080p. For example, when I'm in a, in a video conference and I'm sharing my screen, um, there might be viewers who don't have as big of a display that can't discern everything on 4K. So 1080p is more of a standard resolution for that case. And that's why I like having a one click uh, script, which I can just execute, switch over to 1080p um, for the purpose of screen sharing, for example. So go ahead and copy this 4K script and paste it to your desktop and go ahead and rename it to 1080p. Next, you can simply edit the script to match the resolution. So I've already changed it to 9, 20 times 1080, so make sure it's set to the right resolution. Also go ahead and save it and close out of it. So as you can see now, I have both of these files created. Um, go ahead and double click 1080p to try out 1080p. Once again, don't mind a little bit of a, a display glitch on my screen recording software. This will look the way it's supposed to on your system. And to switch back to 4K, simply double click that file. And there you go. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, I have a number of other unique and useful tutorials on this channel that you can check out right here on the screen. Till next time.